What? What's the plan? Oh. Okay, I'm super excited about this view that's right off of our balcony in our room. I'm so glad we came to Barat and we haven't even left our hostel. <laughs> Apparently one of the biggest things to do here in Barat is there's a winery called uh, Chobo or Kobo. I'm not sure how to say it, but um, it's really highly rated. Everybody says you gotta go and try it. They have some of the best wine in all of Albania. That's what we're gonna do this early in the morning. We're just gonna go drink some wine. <laughs> minutes away uh, I think I forgot to turn on the mics uh, the last time so <laughs> oh no <laughs> right. 20 minutes driving here is honestly it, it's exhausting is like three or four hours worth of driving you don't realize how easy it is to drive in America until you go somewhere <laughs> else like it's so easy to drive there anybody could do it here it's like a whole different ball game you know goats in the road sheep in the road people crossing the highway there's no lanes there's no lanes here either it's like anybody could drive anywhere as long as you know you're brave enough okay so we have arrived at the winery and we're about to do a tasting we got a quick little tour of the place. Um, first wine tour I've ever done. I'm not sure what to expect, but it looks really, really cool. There's giant vats downstairs and giant barrels aging wine right now. Huge barrels aging wine. And it has 4,000 liters of wine. Which is like a thousand gallons, In that I think. one barrel, which is crazy. And we decided to go with the higher class tasting. So it's 28 euros per person, but we're gonna split like one person because I gotta drive. I'm excited to try it. So the olives are like uh, local from Brera because yeah, Brera is like very famous for the olives. All Albania, like the west part of Albania is like very good for olives, but Brera is the most famous one. Then you have like the olive oil which is uh, extra virgin made with cold press and the cheese. Now both of them are from sheep milk. Alright, this is the first one. It's a white wine. I forget exactly what the name of it was, but here we go. Mm, it smells really fresh. Mm, that's really good. It's really refreshing. Ryan's not normally a wine person, but he's a wine person today. Tasting wine. Not a fan? It's okay, but I mean, I don't really know what I'm looking for in a wine, to be honest. <laughs> it just kind of tastes like old grapes, you know? Neither of us are wine connoisseurs at all. This is actually my first wine tasting that I've ever done. I mean, I've drank lots of wine, particularly a lot of boxed wine, and wines that cost under $10. <laughs> the expert on sheep. Yeah, exactly. So. So for more of you experienced wine tasters, drop a comment below, let us know what some good wine tasting tips are, what your favorite wineries are, we would love to know. So, the uh, Chant de Verre, it is, I told you the health and wine, okay, mm -hmm. Chant is Chant that health, Verre is wine. It is uh, uh, 2017 harvest, okay, it has been for two years on the second fermentation like with the yeast in the bottle uh -huh. and it is 13% of alcohol it's the same grape as the wine you tried with Pulse, the local grape from Berat and it is Brut Nature it has less than 2 grams sugar per liter okay. now I have to shake it a little bit hey <laughs> Chandelier. Chandelier. Mm. That's bubbly. 
That's really good though. Yeah, that's definitely the best champagne I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like more sweet oh God, than I really expected. Um, they said that all of their wines here are very dry, but the grapes apparently become more sweet because the amount of days of sun that they have in this country. It's sunny 300 days out of the year, so. It makes sense why they have good wine here then. That olive is super good. Oh my gosh, it's like one of the best olives I think I've ever had. Mm. So Ryan is also typically not an olive person. This is totally his type of food tour right now. Doesn't like wine, doesn't like olives, but. These olives are great. And I usually hate olives, like despise them. And these ones are really, really good. I can't get enough. He used to tell me that I was so gross for eating olives all the time. And then every time I would eat a jar of olives, okay, I don't eat the whole jar at a time, maybe about a half jar at a time. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not that bad, but he would never want to be near me when I was eating olives. Not you wonder different though. Not even within like 10 feet. Cap number two is over there. Cat number three. <laughs> it's like a cat cafe here. They just want our cheese though. Keep messing around, you get your nose scratched again. Hey. Oh my gosh. All right, she just brought out this wine this glass. One right here. Um, the one on the left is one we had originally, so I'm kind of nervous. I don't know, that's more like a goblet. I Can mean. you tell how big it is? Oh my gosh. A fish could literally live in that. Okay, so. We have named it a Cucha e Beratit, which means the red of Berat. Now, it is made with an Albanian native grape, like called Vlosh. Um, Vlosh is very special, okay, because it's not only the skin red, it's very red inside of the grape. So the color mm. of the wine is very deep, very beautiful. And we are the only winery who has this grape in all Albania and maybe all over the world. Uh, and yet we also think this red is very special, very unique as well, and we are the only one who has it. A little bit. Okay. So this is why the, the glass is so big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the wine she just poured us. It's like one of those wine glasses from those memes where people just put an entire bottle of wine and just drink it all. It's one glass. <laughs> you want to smell it? it smells really good. Mm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. I love the story behind this wine. I think it's so cool that um, it has a connection to the town where these grapes are grown. Right. And, um, and it's exclusive yeah. to Barat. This is like a true feeling, like an authentic experience in Barat. Yeah, know? exactly. That's, you're not going to get anywhere else. All right, your turn. My entire head could literally fit in that Dude, glass. Look at that. <laughs> it's like bigger than my head, literally. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> <clears throat> to me, it's tough because it's just every wine just tastes like wine, and I don't really know what to look for. <clears throat> Typically, don't enjoy wine that much, but that's actually pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say that I would go out of my way. I think I'd probably rather drink Rocky. This whole thing was full. Oh my! It wasn't. Oh it wasn't my full. god! <laughs> You're awful. I have to get a freaking stretcher to get you out of here. It smells like ice cream. What? <laughs> okay, so we are trying the first wine from this particular winery. It's their original. It's a mix between, she said, Cabernet and Merlot. Mm. That one's really dry. It's very good. It's, it's more dry than the last wine. I can't tell which one is... My favorite though, I think they're both about the same, to be honest. Maybe we'll know a few sips in. Okay, so we've tried four wines so far, two red, two white, and now we are going to try a Rocky 
which is Ryan's star moment. He's been obsessed with Rocky since we got to Albania. Definitely gotten more used to Rocky since the uh, first time we tried it, if you have seen that episode. We struggled pretty hard. And if you haven't seen that episode, American to Try Rocky, we'll put the link right here so you guys can go check that one out after this video. This is Rocky with walnut, with also some other herbs, 39% of alcohol. My time to shine, boys. It's much darker than any other Rocky we've had, for sure. But apparently it takes the color from the walnuts that it's like uh, distilled with, I guess. The green skin of the walnuts gives it its flavor and its color. Let's see. Wow, it has a ton of flavor. Really? It doesn't taste like any Rocky we've ever had. Really? Okay, yeah. I'm excited. It okay. tastes completely different. It's really good, actually. Okay. It tastes like a yeah. licorice root a little bit. Oh my gosh. Really smooth, right? It's like really, really smooth. What the heck? Okay, this Rocky is so good. Kind of want to get a whole bottle. Now, here's the thing. I think we've mentioned this before. Because Rocky is so popular and it's so local, almost everybody makes it in home with their own distillery. It's also super cheap. So you can get a shot of Rocky anywhere from about 80 lek to 150 lek, which translates to about 80 cents to $1.50. Probably have like 300 lek for a half liter. Right, um, or about 500 for a full liter. Right. It's super inexpensive, but it's also really good. Nothing's compared to this one, for sure. Oh. Anybody that tells you Rocky doesn't give you a hangover, they're out of their mind, or they didn't drink <laughs> enough of it, because it will ruin your next day bad. We have literally devoured almost everything. The snacks were so good. The wine and the Rocky was amazing. It's a good thing Ryan's driving. This concludes our wine tasting at Chobo Winery. Everything was super good, and we have a little something to take home. Hint, it's some Rocky. So what's your favorite word in Albanian so far? Me? You're yeah. talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's actually a hard question. Mm -hmm. It's hard because like a shishma is so good. Yeah, which I Which is know. like delicious. We love that word. I also like the saying avash avash, which is slow, slow. So Albanians like to say when they're eating, you are avash avash. That means you're eating slowly or taking your time. Hopefully we're using that right. That's what An they told Albanian us. An Albanian told us that. Yeah. So. <laughs> if we're wrong, blame him. Don't blame <laughs> us, all right?